All right, Naval Academy freshmen, known as plebes, complete a decades-old Naval Academy rite of passage by scaling a giant monument covered in lard. And Nikki Zazaza joins us now here in the studio with more on their long, greasy climb. <laughs> yes, a greasy indeed, you guys. Well, it took them two hours and 31 minutes to make it to the top, marking a culmination of their first year. The midshipman who made it to the top first says it was really all about teamwork. Barefoot, shirtless, and oiled up. This grease slathered monument was the only challenge left in the way of Chris Paris and his freshman class from completing the end of their plebe year. I had like both hands around uh, the monument and just trying not to fall off. Alumni, family, and onlookers surrounding the 21 foot tall Herndon monument covered in 50 pounds of vegetable shortening. Their mission? Simple. Replace the plebe Dixie cup atop the monument with the midshipman's cap as fast as possible. It was mostly terrifying just trying not to fall. It's super slippery up there. Building a human pyramid on the shoulders of his classmates while upperclassmen hosed their faces to make the task as difficult as possible. All this to shed their status as plebes. After two hours and 31 minutes, the Louisville, Kentucky native reached the top first. I was the one who happened to be in the right place at the right time. Demonstrating the teamwork and perseverance they have learned during their first year at the Naval Academy. You know, getting up there, there might not be much of a view, but it's a great feeling. What's next uh, for Chris Pierce? Get a nice warm shower and go out for uh, some food with my dad. And check this out. The first recorded Herndon climb happened in 1962 and took 12 minutes, but back then, upperclassmen didn't grease the monument. Back to you guys.